Okay, guys, so I'm going to do um, what says example one here in our note sheet, but it's more like, uh, oh, I guess it's actually the first example on the note sheet. Interesting. I'm going to do example one with you here from section 7.2. Uh, not too new, but it's just using the normal approximation uh, for the sample proportion p hat uh, to do a probability calculation. And also using the information we learned earlier in the lesson, which is the mean and the standard deviation of the sample, sampling distribution of the sample proportion. So I'll read this and then we can go through and do the work. It says a polling organization asks an SRS of 1,500 first-year college students how far away their home is. So the SRS here, 1,500, that would be my sample size. Okay, N is 1,500. Then suppose that 35% of all first-year students actually attend college within 50 miles of home. Well, actually, this means this is the truth. Suppose that this is the truth, which means P is 0.35. Suppose we know the truth, the population proportion. What is the probability that a random sample of 1,500 students will give a result within two percentage points of this true value? And then they tell you the population size, okay? So within two percentage points of this true value, that would be basically saying this is the question. What's the probability that the sample proportion would be between two percentage points away would be 0.33 and 0.37. So that's two percentage points more than 0.35 or two percentage points less than 0.35. So that's basically the question. What is this? <clears throat> so uh, and again, if we have to assign a letter to this, we would say this is capital N, the population size. Okay, uh, And so we can start this by doing our state plan, do conclude. I don't think it's that crucial he at this stage still that you do state plan, do conclude, but I'll follow the structure that the textbook uses, um, and you can see how that goes. So basically state is we want to find the probability that the sample sample proportion p hat is between 0 0.33 and 0 0.37 I'll squeeze that in there okay and or what I wrote at the top there that's the same thing Okay, so plan, <clears throat> what we want to do is find the mean, uh, check the 10% condition, uh, check the uh, uh, large counts condition, and also find the standard deviation. Okay, then we can basically use normality if we meet the large counts condition. So uh, let's do that. We'll say... Uh, our SRS has n equals 1500, which we wrote at the top, uh, and p equals 0 0.35. <clears throat> so the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample proportion is equal to p, which is 0 0.35. Right? <clears throat> Then I need to check the 10% condition before I can actually calculate uh, the standard deviation. And so we can say, uh, since 1,500 students, my sample size is less than 10% of 1.7 million students, uh, the 10% condition is met, so this means I can assume approximate independence, okay, it's close enough basically. 
So uh, now I can also calculate standard deviation. <clears throat> so if we calculate standard deviation, I get this. Uh, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample proportion is square root of p times 1 minus p over n. And that is 0 0.35 times 0 0.35. 6.5 all over the sample size of 1,500. And if you punch that in your calculator, <clears throat> you get 0 0.0123. So I have the mean, I have the standard deviation, uh, and w the whole point of this exercise is to use the normal approximation for p hat. So to use that, I have to actually uh, check that the large counts condition is met. So we're going to do that. The large counts condition is this. Uh, NP greater or equals to 10. It's a question. And N1 minus P greater or equals to 10. Another question, is this true? And if we plug in the numbers, we have 0 0.35 times P. I'm uh, sorry, this is P. 0 0.35 times 1,500 greater or equals to 10, uh, and is <clears throat> 0 0.65 times 1,500 greater or equals to 10. Okay, uh, sorry, I realized I switched this around. This is P and this is N. Uh, this is 1 minus P and this is N. Okay, just so if you're confused. And then finish that up and you get, if you do the math, 525 is greater or equals to 10, check. And this side, 975 is greater or equals to 10, check. Uh, so you can say, so the large counts condition is met. Okay, so we can assume that the sampling distribution of p hat is approximately normal. All right, <clears throat> and the part of the note sheet that was actually devoted to do, uh, this is fine for the do step, but also uh, standardizing and showing a picture of what you're trying to find on a normal distribution. We'll do that here. So the conclude section will move a little bit down, um, but so we can standardize. So we can say the original question was this, what is the probability? that 0 0.33 is less than or equals to p hat, and that's less than or equals to 0 0.37. So what's the probability that the sample proportion would be between 0.33 and 0.37, or within two percentage points of the population proportion? Okay, and if we do this, uh, you can continue with this, that's equals to the probability, and now we can standardize, because we have the mean and we have the standard deviation. The mean comes from here, standard deviation comes from here, that we calculated earlier, okay? So if we standardize, uh, we get this, 0 0.33 minus 0 0.35 over standard deviation 0 0.0123. Okay, what's this probability that la that's less than or equals to Z, which is less than or equals to uh, 0 0.37 minus 0 0.35, all over 0 0.0123. <clears throat> and that's the same question as what's the probability that Z is between negative 1.63 and 1.63. Okay. And if you do this normal CDF in your calculator, 
uh, you get, let's see exactly what you get. Let's go there and do that. So if you do this, you get uh, second distribution, normal CDF, and lower bound for us is negative 1.63. Upper bound is 1.63. Mean zero standard deviation one because we standardized standard normal distributions what we're using. And if you do that, you get about 0.897 if you round to the thousandth, which we want to do. <clears throat> 0 0.897. Okay, so the conclude part, well, I guess we'll move it all the way down here. The conclude part is question was. What is the probability that a random sample of 1,500 students will give a result within two percentage points of this true value? Um, we say there is about a 0.897 probability that the sample proportion, okay, that the random sample of 1,500 students will give it a result within two percentage points of this value, so that we're saying that the sample proportion p hat from the SRS of 1,500 students would be within two percentage points of the population proportion. And that's called P. Okay. <clears throat> So that's the whole uh, question done. Like I said, not too much new here really, except that we are talking in terms of a sample proportion and talking in terms of the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample proportion and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample proportion. In any case, I hope that was useful for you guys. And also remember that the completed note sheet for this is also available to you. Thanks, guys.